How's it going guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. So in this video we're going to be talking about uh, this Zelda sword here. Um, now I'm going to be talking about what this is and how I did it. But uh, first this was a project that me and my dad thought about. Um, we wanted to work on something collectively together. Uh, he has a Alpha YG20 that we use and I have the uh, Ender 3. Um, so we wanted to collaborate and work on a project together. So what he did... Um, We'll talk about all this in a moment, but basically the Alpha YG20 printed this blade and uh, this sheath. This, excluding this piece, this piece I did on the Ender 3 as well as this. Um, this is a this is also a, a Nintendo Switch cartridge holder here. Um, sorry for the sound. It's a really cool piece. Um, this is something that I've been kind of scared to get into. I am not the painter. I am not very artistic when it comes to um, anything. <laughs> uh, so this was definitely out of my realm. Um, I I painted very minimal of this. This is something that my wife did for me. Um, she is a great asset to the team. She basically, I'll show some photos here. Uh, she pretty much painted this whole thing. Uh, aside from putting on some final coats of, uh, of varnish here. And I want to talk about the process that this took. Um, we basically did this, and I'll show you some up close video. We did this without doing any sanding at all. Um, so this was something that uh, required zero sanding. So we basically printed this, and right after the print, we put some poly polyurethane on it. Um, I called it varnish a minute ago. It's actually just polyurethane. Um, so basically what we, what we did, we printed this. We started... Sorry for the sound. I know that's horrible. We started with this right here, as far as painting is concerned. Um, we painted this whole thing with uh, we painted this whole thing with a polyurethane uh, that made it very slick, um, and it basically eliminated all the sanding. Um, one thing to note that if you're going to be using my method of um, post processing, you're going to have to have your printer dialed in pretty well. Um, the good thing about our printers is we do have them dialed in and it required zero sanding. There was very minimal lines in our prints as you can see with this here. Again, I'll have an up close video of this if you can't see it. I don't know what the camera sees right now. But um, yeah, so we we applied polyurethane to everything. One coat of polyurethane that took care of any layer, layer lines that would have been showing. I don't recall any that were showing. After the polyurethane, we then started painting. We first put a layer of blue here, excluding these pieces that are gold. Um, and we put, we didn't paint this at all. We printed this in gray, and then we put polyurethane on it. And that's this is the final piece after polyurethane. Um, there are some layers, layer shifting, very minimal. You can barely see it. If you have to look really hard to see it, um, but this came out perfect. We then started working on these pieces. Uh, we painted this blue painted these golden yellow we then added more layers of polyurethane and it came out great it feels great in the hand it was a really fun print to do this is actually two pieces like I mentioned earlier this piece and this piece um, so this piece we actually just painted yellow and it looks kind of gold um, now if you can see there's a little shine to it and we actually added some uh, glitter to it as well so um, here has gold these pieces have gold glitter and this has blue glitter so we painted it with glitter we then painted over it again a couple more layers of polyurethane in total if I try to break this down for you uh, we put about three three coats of polyurethane on it first thing once that dried we then started putting added the, adding the color to it and once we added the color to it uh, we then added maybe three more polyurethane coats so if you use this method of post processing you will be using a couple of coats of polyurethane and it can take a couple of days to really cure and finish and that's exactly what this did um, and this is the handle again I'll have some really good video of it in a moment uh, but yeah it's really cool it, shot, it slides in the sheath like this you then can pull it out I know that's very loud I apologize um, <laughs> but um, yeah that's that's what we've been working on that's really the reason why I haven't posted a video because painting and post processing can take a long time with these prints uh, this took probably about a week to finish we was 
coating it just about every day with different materials. So I want to go over the process one more time. I really think this post-processing method can really work and can eliminate sanding. Um, eliminating the sanding really makes things easier, at least for me. And again, this is for specialized printers that have really dialed in um, profiles. So if your printer falls in that category where you got it dialed in and it looks great right out right off the print bed, then again, what you want to do first, you want to get some polyurethane. I'll uh, post some photos of the kind that we're using. Um, but you want to get the print, you want to put, put a couple coats, maybe three coats of polyurethane on it. Um, after you add that, those coats, now if you're doing it to something like a sword, like, a, like this, um, then there's not, you're not going to lose much detail. But if you're doing it to a minifigure that you printed, you may lose detail with that polyurethane because it is covering up uh, crevices. So just be aware of that. But if you're printing, printing something large, or kind of large like the sword, and you just want it to look good and shine and no layer lines, polyurethane is the way to go. So step one, print it. Step two, polyurethane, uh, maybe two to three coats. Step four, add your paint. Um, step five, about three more coats of polyurethane. And then you'll just let, want to let it sit for about a week. This took about two weeks to finish. Um, the first week took us painting. The second week we just let it sit, sit there and let it cure. So one thing to note is uh, when it comes to polyurethane, most of the time when you think of polyurethane, you think that it smells. Uh, the cane that we used actually wasn't that bad. Uh, we put it on there and there was very minimal smell that came from it. And right now, all right, and so there's this barely smells like polyurethane at this point. Um, if, if I hold it here, I can't smell it. If I, of course, if I put it to my face, you can smell that there is there still has a small amount of polyurethane um, as far as what you can smell. But yeah, guys, if you follow this method, you can have a really slick and nice print, and you will basically not have to do any sanding. Again, this works great for larger objects. Um, if you're doing it for a minifigure, I haven't done it on one of those yet. So um, you probably will lose detail. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be doing much more. I have a few other things coming, and I'm really excited to um, talk about that. I apologize for the video being out so late. This took two weeks to do, and I really wanted to show this off in my next video, so let me just pull this off. So I really postponed any videos. Um, but yeah, that's it right here. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you use my method, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have um, questions, feel free to let me know that as well. If you aren't subscribed, I would love to have you a part of the False Tech community. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell on so you'll be notified when my next videos are coming out. Um, i got tons more. My One of my videos coming out may not be my next video because I'm working on a large project, much larger than this. Um, and it requires a lot of printing. Basically, I'm going to be talking about how you can save money with prints. Uh, so that's going to be a pretty exciting video. Um, I got probably around 20 pieces printed at this time. Uh, so this is going to be a much bigger project. But um, yeah, stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. So don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'm swinging a sword. I'm not threatening you to do that, but it'd be nice if you did do that. Um, so yeah, guys, so I'll see you next time. Goodbye.